now I want to talk about two different string methods, substr and substring. Very closely related, but they do slightly different things. Both of them are for extracting a substring. So let's say I have this variable str, which is a big long string, and I wanted to grab a piece of that. I can use substring or substr, either one, to extract a piece. The difference is what parameters you pass into the method to extract it. With substring, we're saying what position in the string do we want to start at, so the from position or the start position. Every string starts numbering at position 0 and then each letter you increment by 1, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, I think 16 is the first letter of Lebowski here. And then 2. This is the ending position. So from position 16 to 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 16 to 23, that is the starting and ending position. That's how substring works. Substr, you get a starting position, so from this position, and then how many characters is the second one. So very similar. Let's um, do a few tests here. Let's see how this works. I'm going to do the shortcut for console.log because I'm going to be using that a few times. All right, we're going to take str and call substring. We'll say from position 16 to position 23. All right, test this out. Node, and then my file name, substr.js. There we go. Labowsk. Okay, so 23 was this number right here. So this is up to, but not including, that number 23. 24. There we are. So this is my starting position and my ending position within this string. Okay. If we do this again, so let's run it a second time, but not putting in an ending position, we get all the way to the end of the string. So if you don't put something into the end, you get all the way to the end of the string by default. What if I put in something that is less than the end? Again, this doesn't work. We can't go backwards. So we get from there to the end. So the zero is the first position in the string. We get from position 16 going back to position 0. So nobody calls me. That's what we're going to get. Up to, but not including this. Now with substr, the second one. So if I do a, another copy here and I remove the ing part, now we're talking about from and length. Okay, let's run this. I'm going to comment out the first three here. We don't want those. Clear this out, run it again, nothing. We get an empty string. We said, starting at position 16, give me this many characters. Zero. We got nothing. I do that with a negative number, even a negative one. There we go. Again, we get nothing. So any negative number that you put in here as the length property, will be converted into zero and therefore give you back absolutely nothing. We make this a positive L. So at position 16, give me one character. Now what happens if we, I'll just, I'll do another example just to show you more. There we go, Lebowski comma. So we got 10 characters. We can also with substr, we can put a negative number inside of here. Negative number is going to say, all right, start at the end, count back 16 characters, and for them from that point, give me this number, so the length property. And there it is. M the dude, which would be this part right here. So we're getting those 10 characters, and this one is 16 characters from the end. And that's it. That's substr, substring. 
Either one of them you can use to extract a piece of the string. The difference between them is really having to do with the second parameter, if you're saying the ending position or the number of characters that you want. And if you're talking about the length, it also opens up the possibility that you can use a negative number for the starting point, the from. If you use negative, you start at the end of the string and move backwards. All right. Have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.